A lot of people are talking about artificial intelligence. And here in this podcast, we're going to quickly go through two artificial intelligence plays and we're going to decide, are those in a bubble or are they not? Stay tuned. It's Mark Yegi here, wealth architect and lifestyle investor. Let's take your life to the next level. Welcome to the Wealth Architect Podcast. Okay, okay. Everybody's talking about artificial intelligence. Now, it's really machine learning, but bottom line is you can go in. It's really cool, and you can use this program called ChatGPT, which is kind of the leader right now, and you can start to have a little conversation with this artificial intelligence robot. You could tell it what you want. You could say, write a poem like Edgar Allan Poe that's five stanzas long. You could say, write a blog post for me about travel in Mexico. You can ask it to do a lot of things. You can have it write songs and plays and music and give you opinions about things. And it goes out and searches the internet and it comes out with the best intelligent answer based on what the internet told it. Now, the database stops in 2021. So 2022 and even 2023, beginning of this year, doesn't have the data in. So it's pretty cool though. I gotta say, it's promising technology. Is it perfect? Well, nothing that's just coming out is perfect. But I can tell you, the stocks are starting to uh, respond to what's going on in artificial intelligence. It's the fastest growing technology that I've seen in a long time. And I used to think Bitcoin was the fastest growing technology, and it was. But now this is adopted so quickly that um, it's now it's now become the fastest growing technology. And the reason is it's free. There are companies that use the API, the application programming interface, to write their own interfaces and do other fancier things. You can do uh, avatars, you know, of yourself. You can have it take your text and turn it into a video, these kinds of things. But generally the chat GPT, you, if you can get a username and password, it's free. And so a bunch of other companies are trying to take over and compete in this artificial intelligence space. Will they succeed? I don't know. A bunch of them have been around a while. I'm going to show you two of them right now. So the first one here is called C3. The symbol is AI. And if you look at the symbol, and I have it on the screen, but if you're listening to this, it's got a chart that basically goes from about $180 all the way down to $10. So it's lost $180 all the way down to $10. Huge amounts of loss. And that was from basically the end of 2020 when it went public all the way down to the $10 price. Now, in the last six weeks, it's popped up. So it's gone from 10 to about 30. So it's tripled. So a lot of people ask me, are we in a bubble yet in AI? Well, I don't know. If you look at this chart, to me, the chart looks like it's in a bubble if you look at it short term, but long term, it's dropped from like 180. Now, if we look at the fundamentals and the fundamentals don't really count in a hyped market, right? Where everybody's just buying, it doesn't matter. It's just because it's in the, in the right space. This company's never made money. In 2020, they lost 71 cents. 2021, they lost 32 cents. 2023, they lost 73 cents. And, uh, you know, 74 cents in 23, I should say, 24, 35 cents. So they're losing less, but they're still losing money. This company, you know, needs to figure out a way to make money. Otherwise, they're not going to be around. They lose 67 cents a year in cash flow. So they're burning through money. Now, they'll probably be able to go out and raise money if they have a compelling enough plan. But looking at the chart, it goes from higher left to lower right. And now there's a bounce over the last six weeks as AI has really taken off. But are we in a bubble? I think we're in a bubble. I just don't know if the bubble is going to burst yet. So I think there might be a little more to go to the upside. That's what it looks like on this chart. The next one is called SoundHound. Symbol is S-O-U-N. And it has a very similar chart. And it also has, has never made money. This one went public in the middle of 2022. It hit $18.00 the week after it went public, and then it went all the way down to $1. So imagine if you had spent $18 at the high and rode this thing all the way down to $1. That means there's a bunch of sellers out there from $18 all the way down to one that are looking for opportunities to get out. But there are also people because of the hype that are looking for opportunities to get in. So if you look at this chart, it went from 18 down to one, but it's also gone from one up to five. So imagine buying it at one, the low, and you've made, basically made five times your money. So that's where it is right now. It's around $4, so it's jumped up a bit. Again, same kind of pattern. I think we're in a bubble, 
but I think there's more room to run to the upside. It looks like more people are interested in this and they're going to start looking around at AI technologies because they think they can make it a meme stock. They think they can make a quick buck on it. So I just wanted to give you a couple of plays if you were interested in it. Again, this is just information. It's not an opinion to buy or sell or short or do any kind of investments. It's really entertainment and education. So go talk to the right people, financial advisors or whatever. Uh, but you know, I wanted to bring those two to your attention. C3, AI and SoundHound. Hope that helps. See you on the next edition of the Wealth Architect Podcast. You've been listening to the Wealth Architect Podcast with Mark Yegi. Follow us on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Share and tell your friends. See you soon.